Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nico. I'm here with Antonio Elias Rodriguez, and I'm here to ask him a few questions about his experiences with the Puerto Rican national team. Antonio, how have you been? How's it been so far down there? Pretty good. Great summer so far. Just happy to be home, enjoying the weather, enjoying the family. How about you? Nice. Yeah, my summer's been great. Um, just been playing a little volleyball. I just got back from AAUs, which is awesome. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah. Um, so, talk to me a little bit about the tournament so far. How has it been going with playing with the team? Man, pretty fun, pretty amazing. You know, uh, left Lewis with an injured thumb. It was kind of an uphill battle, if you could call it. Kind of getting back in the court and working out to, you know, get my strength back and just, you know, getting my hand working in, in a good order again, if that makes sense. Uh, first tournament was about a month ago, I think. I think we went down to Mexico, Durango. That was pretty fun, man. That was the uh, first tournament of the summer. Kind of getting back into the core again. We had like maybe two weeks to practice and prepare for it. Didn't quite went the way we wanted to, but still managed to get a bronze medal. It was fun. It was a good team bonding tournament and kind of good to see where we were at at the moment. And then we just got back from El Salvador. We played the Central American Games, and that was a really neat experience, Nico. It was we compared to the Olympics because it's pretty much like the Olympics. It's only based in Central America. Bunch of teams, bunch of different disciplines, sports. I mean, I've, I've never got to see a bowling team competing before. I don't know about you, but that yeah. was something pretty, just, you know, unique for me. A lot of teams coming together, a lot of different cultures, and a lot of pressure too. Um, normally, we do pretty good in volleyball in that tournament, and we had the pressure of kind of, you know, at least minimum staying on the podium, which we achieved, thankfully. We got a bronze man at all. Ah, oh, but man, it was just. Uh, was really nice. We unfortunately lost in the um, semifinals versus the Dominican Republic in a five uh, set match. The fifth set got delayed an hour and 40 minutes because of rain. It was wow. really, really, <laughs> it was really rainy mentally. It was a big toll, but I mean, I'm happy with the results, happy with the experience and just, uh, you know, grateful that I had the chance to be there. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Um, what was it called? El Salvador? That's what you said? El that's where we went, El Salvador, yeah. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that sounds awesome. Um, so what's coming up for you guys after this? Like, what kind of tournaments do you have coming up? Well, we kind of have a small break uh, for now. We don't have anything in July. Thank God. I didn't really do that, I'm to be honest. But we have a, I believe, Pan American Games coming up in August, and then at least one more tournament in September. I think we're gonna go play a uh, North Seca tournament in United States, actually. So either Virginia or Tulsa, one of those two places. So yeah, we're wow. pretty close. Yeah. So if you guys are in Virginia or Tulsa, go down and say hi to Antonio for us. Um, yeah. So kind of going off of like questions of your schedule, what has been? It sounds like you already answered it, but like your favorite experience so far has been playing in front of those people, right? Where you got third place, or was there another favorite experience you've had? Yeah. I mean, honestly, my favorite experience so far was uh, last summer we got to go to a World Championship and that was in Poland and that was just amazing, you know, the oh, wow. setting was incredible, the crowd was insane, like people really like volleyball down there in Europe for some reason, you know, and the court was packed, the atmosphere was just amazing, and just getting to, you know, explore Poland, walk around and just see the different culture, that was, that was really, really amazing, something wow. that I can't even compare with being back here in Puerto Rico or even in the United States, it was just was really, really cool. That for sure has to be my favorite experience of all the trips that I had. Yeah, that does sound really cool. Um, so kind of basing off of like your experiences that you've had with the Puerto Rican national team and playing down here at Lewis, how would you compare the two? Um, is it pretty similar, a lot different? I would say it's pretty different. Um, it's really interesting for me because the national team, I play with a bunch of older guys, if that makes sense, they have more experience and they kind of already figure out how to carry themselves and how to project themselves in the court, if that makes sense. And Lewis is a little different because most of us are still trying to kind of figure out, you know, how to find that confidence space, how to find the consistency, and just how to kind of carry ourselves as players overall. So it's a little different because I'm a little used to someone else leading the charge just because they're older, they know what I'm still kind of trying to figure it out. And then in Lewis, I am one of the older guys being a super senior now, going back from my sixth year, and it's a little different dynamic. I'm the one who's supposed to be kind of a leader shape, if that makes sense. So it's different dynamics, uh, but the experience overall, it's kind of similar, I would say, a little more pressure, 
on the national team side just because it's you know international games and representing your country which ultimately is you know a privilege um but yeah i mean it's a little it's more fun in college just because you kind of get to lay back a little more and just enjoy the process more that makes sense yeah yeah it does it sounds like it i mean i think it's so cool that you get to experience two completely different kind of worlds of volleyball and then you get to kind of enjoy one part and then enjoy the other and you get i don't know you get to taste both so that's really cool um so a bunch of people were asking i posted on the instagram story questions to ask you and it seemed like the most popular question was the food how has the food been down there like what has been your favorite meal least favorite meal i don't know just something about the food <laughs> man the food was amazing it was really really good no complaints about it but this might be a little ironic but my favorite food that we had down there was i um we had like an international center in the whole villa where we were staying all the athletes and they had like a Mexican truck and we went there a couple of times so we little my favorite food a couple of tacos I'm sorry it's gonna be ironic but that was just the best of it it was really cheap it was really good big portions it was just a class that's funny yeah ah, that sounds good um all right last question so you mentioned at the beginning about your thumb how was that experience kind of elaborate more on the experience of um, getting back into the game Were, was it really a huge mental block for you or was it more of a physical mental block like talk a little bit about that because I completely forgot I would say <laughs> I would say both um, when the injury did happen that was the semi-final for us in the Viva tournament and yeah it was kind of tough you know uh, losing just not having the chance to compete for a championship in the Viva and literally the last game of the season and that's when I get injured so that was a little frustrating I think it was about a month and a half without doing anything with it just having it immobilized not being able to use my hand pretty much and then it was a slow process getting back into the court you know uh, having treatment getting it taped every single time being literally yeah scared to use my hands when I'm playing because I don't want to get my thumb blasted off again you know uh, so it was both mental and physical. Physically, I had to do a lot of work to just get my strength back into it. And then mentally, it was more the confidence of, oh, like, you know, just full send it and, and having the God to put my hand in front of the ball again without having the fear to, you know, yeah. just get hit and get in a lot of pain again. So, yeah, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad you're better now, though. Um, is Thank there anywhere you. we can watch the previous matches that you played in or the future matches? Uh, we had a live stream through uh, multiple different television channels here back home and a couple yeah. live streams. I don't know if they are still recorded. I am looking for the metrics to see if I can find any matches. Um, future matches, though, for sure, you can check them out on the Norseca uh, webpage okay. for both uh, Team Puerto Rico and Team USA. If it's in Norseca uh, tournament or competition, it's going to be in there. And uh, so, yeah, if you wanted to you know, have an eye out for that, that's it for this book. Nice. All right. People who are watching, if you want to see Antonio play, go, te go check out the North Seca website. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by, Antonio. And I'm looking forward to the upcoming season. Thank you, Nico. Have a great summer. Yeah, you too.